Durham city and county leaders are coming together with some local businesses to make sure young people have a way to stay busy this summer. WRL's Durham reporter Sarah Kruger is live for us from City Hall to tell us about the Youth Works program. Sarah. Dan, at this time yesterday, I stood right here outside of City Hall reporting on the troubling trend of more and more kids here in Durham being involved in really serious crimes. And as we look for solutions to that, one thing that city leaders often point to is the need for more activities for our kids and for economic stability. This program can help get at both of those. The YouthWorks program is all about training young people to be the workforce of the future. Just in making sure that our youth have that glimmer of hope and believe in themselves and have that direction. Adria Graham Scott helps with the program in her role on the Durham Workforce Development Board. This is a legacy program. It's been around for over 30 years. She says the program gets funding from the city, county, and Duke Health. It places roughly 500 Durham youth age 14 to 24 in summer jobs. What makes it unique is the program also includes job training and mentoring. Restaurants and some of the entertainment venues all the way to some of our larger businesses. We have architects that have applied and, and participated with us in the past. Um, uh, accounting firms, law firms. Oh, it's very important. Cheryl Smith is an anti-violence activist who says her two daughters participated in a previous iteration of the program decades ago. It was good for them. And it was different from just going to a summer camp. They were able to make their own money. She believes giving teenagers a way to be productive and busy while school is out is critical. I mean, if we don't give these children the opportunity to get involved and get a job and learn the experience, then they're going to end up in the streets and committing crimes just to survive. It's going to take this village, the whole village of Durham, to help these children. And there is one more week left to apply to this program. You can find the information on how to do so on our website, WRAL.com. The city also tells me they are really in need of more businesses, more employers to sign on to help employ these young people this summer. All right, let's get some businesses to step up. Sarah Kruger, live for us in Durham. Thanks, Sarah.